Yeah, I mean, we had to wait out the rain, and the players, as they always do, found a way to have fun. Um, great group. Goofy group, but great group. <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of fun, even though it was raining. And then we finally got to play. I think they were excited to play. So, good day. So, I mean, you've been around coaching for quite some time. How do you keep your team focused and ready to go when it comes time for first pitch in the NCAA tournament, you know, two-hour delay? Um, I mean, in a two-hour delay, I just don't bother them. I'll be totally honest with you. You know, if, if a coach gets in like, hey, we might do this, and gets them all worked up, like it's best to just let them go and have a good time and stay relaxed. So that's my strategy. Just let them do their thing and be relaxed. Cool. Um, moving on to Madison. Great job today. Thank um, you. Uh, Ten strikeouts, really dominant performance in the circle. Um, what's kind of, I guess, the way – how do you get focused for a game like this and, you know, talk about the way you pitched today? Yeah, so um, I kind of have a routine, like, as a pregame, and I make sure I do, like, deep breathing and stuff like that. But, like, once we start our lineups, I know, like, it's time to get focused and just dial in. Coach, you talked about um, Madison today, and maybe that was a, was a strategic decision to get her out once you guys got the lead, or was that just a, um, how things went today? Um, yeah, that, that's strategic. I want to save her for the rest of the weekend. Um, and, and she did great. She dominated, and we were up by three runs, so it's a good time to – Get your pitcher out, let another pitcher have some experience while they can. Um, so, yes, that was strategic. Lydia, sounds like you're seeing the ball pretty well today. <laughs> Talk about the approach to the plate and how it felt, you know, just the way you're hitting the ball. Yeah, um, I was looking to be super relaxed in the box. I just wanted to have confidence and really sit back on the ball, um, be relaxed in the box, take my deep breaths and get in there and then barrel up the ball. In that fourth inning at bat, you had about – four or five balls that were just straight down the left field line but just foul. Yeah. Um, what kind of in at bat approach or what kind of changes did you make during that at bat to straighten things out just enough to get the ball over the fence? Right. Um, I was thinking about waiting on it a little bit longer. Obviously, I was early getting it um, foul, but knowing that, knowing that I was making good contact and looking for my pitch specifically and then um, waiting for that perfect pitch and then just barreling it up. Um, last question. Can you, either of you guys can answer well, um, NCAA tournament, have an opportunity to do something really special um, despite the weather. Um, just talk about the experience being able to play in the NCAA tournament in, in the middle of May. Good. Well, it's kind of funny because Coach just brought up how none of us been in the NCAA tournament before, so it's just kind of we're trying to cherish each moment right now and take it all in because it's a pretty cool experience. Well, I just want coach to expand on that. You're, you're not uh, new to the NCAA tournament play, so it's very interesting to have a roster that because of COVID or whatever it is, right, right, guys, right. Uh, yeah. just a couple. Um, so you talk about this group in particular, you said they're goofy, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that works to their advantage. They don't get worked up. They don't get overly anxious about things. They just take one game at a time, one pitch at a time, and they just show up in the moment, and that really works to their advantage. And as a coach, you look to see what is working for your team, and you just let them roll with it. Um, and so, yeah, that's been our strategy all year. Just do our thing and it's worked out for them. <laughs>